Welcome to MOBS video trainings. What we're going to do today is to install Windows Deployment Services. Let's add some roles. Windows Deployment Services. As it says, provides a simplified, secure means of rapidly and remotely deploying Windows operating system to computers over the network. That's exactly what it does. Windows Deployment Services, click Next. Again, Next. Deployment Server provides the full functionality of Windows Deployment Services and the Transport Server subset of functionality uh, for Windows Server Services. Click Install. This is going to take some time, a minute or so. Finally, the installation succeeded. Let's click close, close the server manager, and let's see the installation Windows Deployment Services. Okay, primarily this is not configured. Uh, we need to configure it, configure the server. To continue, click next. Uh, this is the remote installation services. Uh, it, it will hold all the boot files, uh, including the PXE boot files and the images uh, that we need to... Um, first, we need to make some CDs, uh, image out of the CDs that we need to install, like Windows XP, Windows 7, something like that. This, is, would, be, and this would be the primary storage for it. Click Next. Volume City also Windows System Volume. We recommend that the blah blah blah. Do you wish to continue? Yes, because I don't have any other space available over here. And respond to all the client computers. Request administrator's approval for unknown computers. When you select this option, you must approve the computers using the uh, pending devices node in the snap in. So it will be available for you to approve in the over here in the deployment services. Click Next. It'll take just a minute. <clears throat> Add images to the server now. Click Finish. Image for enter the path to the root of the installation DVD, which contains the images that you want to add. So, by default, sorry, uh, we would be installing those things a bit later. First, let's do some uh, things over here. Let's go through all the tabs. PXE response delay in seconds would be one second every uh, every computers after uh, after the first computer requested the PXE boot. It'll be one second. It'll be a one second delay after the second one reaches uh, the server. The main PXE response policy. This is the, this is the PXE response policy. And if if you want. Uh, if you want to click this one, do not respond to any com any client computers. Respond only to known client computers. And this is actually a dumb point, uh, because then why we are actually installing this uh, service? We don't need this service, so I don't see why Microsoft actually put these things in. Uh, Active Directory Domain Services. 
computer account location, same organizational unit as the user performance, uh, as, the, as the user performing the installation, same domain as the Windows Deployment Services Server. This is the same domain, actually. Boot requires the user to press F12 key to continue the PX boot. Always continue the PX boot. And there would be options for continue the PXC boot unless the user presses the escape key. Well, when I'm actually installing a bare-bone machine, uh, operating systems in a bare-bone machine, there should be always continue the PX boot without intervention from the users. Known clients always continue, and known and unknown both should be the same thing. Default boot image. We'll be talking about these things later. It's the same same menu for everyone. Client unattended file will be uh, creating later on with the uh, with the unattended installation of uh, we can also do these things by Windows AIK automated installation kit for Windows XP, Windows 7, whatever you name it, it's already there. All you have to do is download the whole thing and configure uh, the image for the unattended installation uh, the way you want it. By default, it will be joining, uh, the, the machine would be joined into the domain. Client logging should be log error. Only error messages should be logged. You don't want your log files to be massive, so it will be easier to get those things only. DHCP server, uh, configure DHCP option to indicate that it's 60 and 61. So multicast, obtain IP address from DHCP, or you can specify ranges uh, if you want. Transfer settings, automatically disconnect clients below the speed in kbps. Uh, this is kilobyte per second. It's not kilobit per second. So keep all must in the intersection at the same speed. So most likely, you know, uh, if you have more bandwidth in your network, you will be having, um, you, can, you can also throw uh, like 10 computers uh, at, at the same time. So feel free to do as you like. Advanced domain controller. Allow Windows domain uh, deployment services to dynamically discover valid domain servers. This is also recommended. And if you if you're actually uh, planning on doing different domain controller and the global catalog servers, if it, if these things are different from uh, your primary ones, I put those things in. So since this is my domain controller and I'm installing deployment services into this machine, so I have no other options. So <clears throat> DHCP, um, do not authorize this Windows deployment service server in the DHCP. Also, this is a good point. And the network point, UDP port, 65,000, this is public ports, so it should, should be available. Apply and click OK. So install images, add install image. Uh, you can go for create an image group named image blah blah blah. Type in type in your name. Point your file locations, Wim images, and install uh, those things. Stop adding image. Yes, boot images. There are none. Add boot image. You see, it's the same thing comes in. And if when devices are coming in, uh, requesting updates and PXC boot systems, it'll be over here, and you can individually update those say, update those machines, and also uh, reject it as you want it. Transmissions and drivers. This is the part uh, where you. Uh, it, it actually gets from your image files. So basically, that's about it. And you can also add different servers into the uh, deployment services. So finally, this is about it.
Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.